Hey guys, this is Martin again from Bug Bounty Service. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a wider access control, broken access control vulnerability, also referred to as param parameter stuffing. Um, so let's get right into it, right? So what I'm going to do, I have two accounts here once again. One is logged in as a doctor, not an administrator, and one is basically an unauthenticated user, right? So what I want to do is say I'm an un unauthenticated user. I want to make an appointment and I call myself Martin Miller, for example, and I just fill in like some some details um, into, into that form. And I put Martin at Miller.com, for example, right? That's my email address and the date of birth and just fill anything in here. Then I book my appointment and then I get my appointment ID, right? So I take my appointment ID out here, I copy it and then I go to manage appointment. I put my ID in there. And now I want to manage my appointment, right? So here is my appointment and what you immediately can see is that all these fields here are grayed out, right? Like, so I cannot make changes to my name. I cannot make changes to the address, to the email, to allergies. I can only basically say here, uh, I can put comments in, right? And then I can say, modify my appointment. So I put a comment in, modify the appointment, and then I check in burp what that actually was. So this was this post request here. Uh, let me send this to repeater to play with it. And you can see it's a post request and I made, um, I, I sent the message test and my ID for this specific appointment, right? So this is how it, how it looks like. Now me as an, as, an, as an attacker or bug bounty hunter, usually what you think is if I go back to the screen, right? Like if I retrieve my appointment again here and as you have seen earlier, there is um, numerous fields, right? Like so full name, full address, email, uh, allergies and stuff like that. So I, I want to modify those, right? Because that would be a bug. That would be a vulnerability. Uh, I'm not supposed to do this, but um, so see if, if I can do anything, right? So what happens if I do some parameter stuffing, right? So I simply append another parameter called email and I call this um, a hacker at hacker.com right and then i send it boom and i get a success message so sounds promising right so um let's go back to my manage appointment and retrieve it once again from the database and it did not work right it's still martin at miller.com so me thinking mm, there's probably an authorization issue somewhere um, could be an authorization issue. So what happens? Um, I have access to a normal doctor's account, right? Like, but the doctor is, has other responsibilities and, but the doctor may have different privilege levels, right? Like, so let's see what happens if I grab the cookie, right? If I grab the cookie of a doctor, that's not an administrator. An administrator should be able to do this, but a, a doctor shouldn't be shouldn't be able to change someone's email address and stuff like that either, right? So let me take this, and as you can see here in in our original request, that was an unauthenticated request without a cookie. So I'm adding the cookie here, and then I replay this, right? So I put the doctor's cookies in there, and then I replay this, and then. Again, I get a success message. I got a success message before, so this is, doesn't really say anything, right? Um, but let's go back here and let's manage the appointment once again. Uh, let me get the, the appointment ID, which can be found here. I need to use that in order to retrieve it. And I put it in. And here we go. So you can see I was successfully able with the cookies of a doctor account to change the patient's email, even though I was not supposed to do this. And this is an attack called parameter stuffing that you simply mess with the parameters which are being passed between client and server. I hope um, that makes sense. And I look forward to see you in one of the next videos. Thank you.